Libra, what's good? How you guys doing? Welcome to the channel. My name is Anwar, professionally known as DJ Anwar himself, and I do have an Instagram if you guys want to check that out. If not, it's all to the G, because that's not the reason we're here today, right, Libra? We're here to take a look into your recent past, your present, and see what you got coming in for you in the immediate future. This is for Libra. Libra. I said, did I say Libra? All right, well, this is for y'all Libras, too. <laughs> this is for Libra, Sun, Moon, Venus, and Rising placements. In love, this is a love reading. If you're not looking for love, you're not here for love, still stick around. There might be something else in here uh, for you, too. Um, cross watchers, you are welcome. And, um, what was I going to tell you? Oh, not everything you hear is going to resonate with you. There might be some other Libras watching that have their own stories. If it sounds like it doesn't belong to you, there's a good chance that it doesn't. Leave that. Only take what belongs to you. Leave the rest behind, please. Don't force it if it's not yours. Um, it's for Libra, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising. For now, through the 25th of October, 2020. Although there is no time in tarot, so it could stretch beyond that very easily. These events could have already happened, been happening now, or about to happen. All right, Libra, let's jump in. Sun, Moon, Venus, and Rising. Libra, please bring me clear and accurate messages. How you doing? You look good. Overall energy, Virgo energy, the hermit. The overall energy to this reading, somebody is keeping uh, keeping to themselves. Somebody is going within and trying to figure things out on them uh, on their own. Um, with and just just taking a break, pulling back from the world. Um, let's dig in. Heart of the matter. Four of Wands. This looks like a relationship. Could be a marriage. The heart of the matter is a, a marriage. So somebody's going within and trying to figure something out in regards to a relationship here. The challenge is making a decision. Gemini energy. Making a decision in regards to who am I going to be in this relationship with. Um, this already is sounding just like, uh, who I do? Gemini and Aquarius's readings now you guys are all air signs so it's air energy uh for the collective so it's it's they're going to sound like each other's but if you have any if you have gemini or uh aquarius in your charts you might want to watch those videos too there might be some messages in there for you so somebody uh somebody i feel like this could be you just going within and, and taking a time out from the world trying to figure things out in regards to where you want to go in your relationship um, you could have a decision to make in between two different people. One of them could be a Gemini. You, um, you could be a Gemini, cross watchers, whatever. Um, the reason it's all happening is because someone moved on. Somebody wants to move on. Somebody's trying to move on. Six of Swords. Um, your person could have moved on from you, which has sent you into uh, hermit mode. You usually go into hermit mode after something traumatic happens and you can't deal with the world anymore and say you know what i need a fucking minute to myself i gotta figure some shit out on my own because all you guys are doing is confusing me so it looks like i feel like you're in hermit mode trying to figure out what to do in regards to your relationship do i choose this lover do i go with another lover do i move on do i stay in the recent past um you know, in the recent past you could have been emotionally or uh, emotionally uh, uh guarded keeping your emotions to yourself but Still compassionate. You could have been showing, um, or not showing too much compassion, but just been more of like a, a listening ear. You could have been more of like, I hear you, I understand. I'm not going to contribute much to this, but okay, I get it, I understand. Not necessarily happy with it, but I understand. Your conscious goal, Queen of Wands, she's been popping out. She's popped out in all last... Uh, uh, all of air signs readings thus far she has popped out I would not be surprised if the king of wands uh, came out shortly after so your common goal is to get grounded uh, get your groove back you know get, uh, get get that fire get that get fiery passion back you also could be uh, wanting to link up with a fire sign Aries Leo or Sagittarius That you find very attractive. Um, what's coming in for you that you are not that you're not aware of? 
in between now and the 25th, you have an offer of love coming in. Somebody's going to bring you a offer of love. The Knight of Cups, it looks like a stable offer too. Now, it doesn't look like you... Um, you might not want this offer. Or you might be unsure about this offer. With the lovers being the challenge... Um, this could go this could go two ways you you could be wanting this offer but when you get it it's going to put you in a, in, a, in a position to where you are forced to make a decision you could have recently moved on from someone and have your eye on someone else now a fire sign possibly and um you could be wanting this offer to come in too we'll find out your attitude currently right now ace of cups okay so you do want this offer and it looks like you're getting it this is you now this is what's coming into you same cup except for when you get it look at all that emotion that flows out now look this uh, this offer is coming in for you right now sorry people are blowing up my dms <laughs> all right uh sorry i got distracted I, I forgot to put it in airplane mode anyway so this offer is coming into you. And when it comes, all this emotions is going to boil over. So things could be quiet now, but once this actually actually uh, makes its way to you, I feel like it's just going to be a, a just a, a unleashing of emotion. External to you in your energy, somebody's at a crossroads. So, um, Libra, this isn't this. This isn't you who has to make this decision. This is a person that you're dealing with that has to make the decision. You have your eye on this person. You find them very attractive. And you're hoping that this person is going to offer you a relationship. You've moved on from another connection. Or you possibly could be moving on from this connection because you feel like this offer isn't coming. Your person that you're dealing with has to make a decision. This The challenge is you want the relationship. You want this new beginning with them. They don't know what they that what they want to do. They have to make a decision here. You're waiting for that decision. But it does look like you have an offer coming in. I don't know if it's from them or this could be new. We're going to find out. In your hopes and fears, you're fearing that there's going to be conflict here. You're feeling that there's uh that things that you, you know that when you guys do come together, so you already do you know this person. So you're fearing that when you guys do come together there's going to be conflict. Now, there wouldn't be conflict with somebody that you've never dealt with, so this could be old energy. This could be somebody that you've already dealt with. I'm not saying necessarily an ex, but somebody that you dealt with. In your potential outcome, you have the empress. So, you could end up being the wifey to somebody. You could end up uh, pregnant. Um, all in all, in the outcome, things are going to grow. Things aren't going to be stagnant or, or stuck or not moving with the empress that's that's fertile energy this is the beginning of something this is things growing these are seeds that have been planted actually starting to grow now and um it's cultivation let's dig in tell me about the four of wands for libra sun moon venus and rising but tell me about the four this card really wants to come out so we're going to take a four of wands could be dealing with the leo don't have to be um yeah okay so yeah you're you're holding yourself back you really want this you really want this relationship with this person and you're having to hold yourself back you could have moved on and this could have kick-started your person to say okay you know what i i gotta figure some shit out because libra could be moving on or you could be feeling like this other part of this that uh, this other person is moving on somebody's moving on tell me about the uh, six of swords who's moving on what's this six of swords about somebody's moving on to their happiness somebody wants to move on to calmer waters um and and head towards their happiness with the six of swords being clarified by the sun tell me more so somebody's moving on and they they want to win this at all costs even if it's an empty victory, they want to win this at all costs. Uh, tell me what happened in the recent past. What led to this in the recent past? What led to now? Come, whoa! You see that? Watch that, and then on uh, slow motion, that card then went and then did like a gainer. <laughs> it was the world, which I feel like was coming out in reverse or uh, in the upright, and done did a damn gainer to put itself in the reverse. To let me know, to let you know that in the recent past, 
um, somebody was somebody got stuck in a cycle in the recent past. Somebody was uh, uh, somebody is stuck. Somebody is stuck in a in a connection or in a cycle. They could be going through karma. Clarify the world in reverse. It's a, it's a chapter that's still open. I tell you that. This chapter is not closed out. And now somebody's guarded because if somebody went through you, you went, you or your person, whoever, however resonates, went through something, went through something painful here. Possibly could be trying to close out this chapter with the with the nine, this nine of wands, clarifying the world in reverse. They could be wanting to close out this chapter here, uh, but their guard is up. Nines are final adjustments, so they're like, okay, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this, wrap this chapter up, go ahead and get out of this, be done with this. But I'm a little guarded. They, the person you're dealing with, possibly could be wrapping up a situation that they were in. They could be wanting to come in towards you. They could be coming in guarded. Uh, tell me about the Ace of Cups for Libra's current attitude. Tell me about the Ace of Cups. Come on out. So you you want this? Um, you're you're starting to see things from a different perspective. Possibly you weren't seeing eye to eye with this person in the in uh, uh, in the past possibly just didn't understand them couldn't figure it out and that was keeping you stuck you could actually still be stuck but it looks like you're uh, you're trying to figure something out you're trying to figure out possibly a way how you can have this passion new beginning with them let's look at your person tell me about the two of swords for Libra's person So your person, uh, two of swords, clarified by the Queen of Pentacles, they could be really good with money. They could be a boss, business owner. Focus on their stability. Focus on their finances. Now things are uh, uh, abundant in their life. They're good with money. They don't hustle, but uh, uh, they can't be hustled either. Um, but they're not very happy. It doesn't look like they're happy. It looks like they're too much focused on their money, on their uh, on their stability, and not so much focused on emotion. They, it looks like their heart is guarded. Your person that you're dealing with, their heart is guarded. Their heart is blocked. They're blocked off. There's emotional blockage. Put it that way. They're blocked off emotionally because they're focused too much on their money. But they realize they know that they are focused too much on their money. They know they need to open up emotionally, but they're avoiding that because they're keeping themselves blind to it. They're keeping themselves blind to all the emotion that's there. They're purposely doing this. Tell me more. Yep, yeah, look. They're, they're focused they're focused on Ten of Pentacles. Which isn't a necessarily a bad thing. They're just, they're focused on their home. They're focused on, you know, getting that. Now, they I'm not saying that they're not going to share this home with you. But that's what they're focused on right now. There is like not so much I don't want to deal with love right now. I don't want to deal with emotions. Fuck my emotions for a second. Let, let's let's uh let's let's get this yard cleaned up. Let's get this this house going so we can move in. Might move in with you, you might not. Who knows? You have free will. You can change your outcome at any uh, point. This ain't the outcome. This is just a snapshot of what could be. How does uh, how does this person see Libra? They see you as um, not really not really wanting to take a risk with them. Afraid to take a risk from them. Stuck in the past, possibly. How does this person feel about Libra? All right, we're taking you. They feel like things need to be balanced out, or things could be balanced out. They could feel like they uh, that they that they have to support you, or that they give that they give a lot to you. Now, being that they're they've got all these pinnacles here, you could be dealing with the Earth sign too. Well, no, you are Earth sign, but oh no, 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 no oh, sorry, um, you're uh, Air, so you could be dealing with the Earth sign. So you could be dealing with the uh, Taurus. Um, who has a Virgo Capricorn? Where are we at? Um, they could be feeling like they have to support you or give or or see you as like a. I don't want to say the charity, but like they they weren't given. They possibly were given to uh, not balance out, not giving enough, or they 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 feel like they need to give you more, or they weren't giving you enough before, or they didn't have enough to give you for, and that's why they're focused on their stability because they want to be able to give you this. And you're afraid to take a risk on them? How do you see your person? How do you see this person? 
you see them as uh, dealing with somebody else. Three of Pentacles in reverse. You see them as possibly dealing with uh, another person, possibly somebody they work with. How do you feel about this person? Come on. Okay, so you um, you 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 feel like you have to keep tabs on this person. You feel like you know something about them, or you or you're curious about this person, and you need more information about this person. You're unable to make a decision because you don't have enough information. You don't know. Can you move forward? I don't know what path to take. Now this this could be both your energy. The lovers here making a decision. It looks like both of you guys need to make a decision here in regards to a relationship coming together in a relationship. You could be dealing with a soulmate or a twin flame. Doesn't have to be. Although, we do have the Four of Wands. We do have the Lovers here. So, could be. Um, you need more information in order to choose a path. What is this person not telling Libra? What is this person not want Libra to know? They don't want you to know that they plan on taking action towards you. Plan on reaching out. Uh, let's see what you got coming in for you between now and the 25th. You have a uh, you have an offer. You have an emotional offer coming in between now and the 25th. So uh, let's clarify. Tell me about this emotional offer. How is uh, how is this offer going to make Libra feel? How's this offer going to make Libra feel? This offer is going to make you feel like your wish has come true. Oh, you know what? Hold up. I got to take a break real quick. I got to make that the title. I got to make that the title. Libra, this offer makes you feel like your wish came true. <laughs> so when you read it, that that's how it was typed. <laughs> All right, back to business. All right, so yeah, this offer is going to make you feel like your wish is coming true. Look at this. You got the nine of cups right here. Let me let me show you something real quick. Let me let me show you something. Is it out here? It's not out here. Well, y'all know the ten of cups, right? That's the uh that that's. That's the sister to the Ten of Pentacles. That's a happy end-all, be-all. It's the one with all the cups and the little rainbow. It's a, uh, it's a happy relationship. It's what everybody wants. Now, check this out. You are in the Nine of Cups. There's something that you've been wishing for, possibly for this connection. You got Nine Cups right here. This is final adjustment. My wish might be coming true. What's coming in for you? And mind you, these are both in the same position. And between now and the 25th. You're feeling like your wish is coming true. You're only one cup away from your wish coming true. What's coming in for you? Trollop, 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 trollop. Oh, the horse is riding backwards. My bad. Let's come from this side. Trollop, 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 trollop. Here you go. Here's that tenth cup. Or here's that here's that last cup. Now you have ten cups. Can you count? Nine plus one. What you have coming in, Libra, between now and the 25th, your outcome is a ten of cups. And your potential outcome... Empress, you have a growing relationship here coming here in uh, in your uh, immediate future, Libra, which is going to look like the heart of the matter. First card out. Relationship. This is what you got. It looks like a great outcome, great ending. Um, looks like you're getting your wish or your wish. Feel free to reverse the roles and everything. Don't leave yet. Hold up. I'm going to clean this up, run down the signs, give you some oracles. And um, get you up out of her. While I'm cleaning this up, this is a perfect time to like, share, subscribe. We well, can't share just yet, but uh, you can get the share button ready. But uh, like, let me know who uh, who we're dealing with here. Let me know if this is your story or not. When you hit like, it lets me know that uh, that you're rocking with me energetically. It gives me permission to tap into your uh, energy and also lets YouTube know that you like the video. And it says, hey, you know what? Libra liked that last video. All right, well, let's show the next video to Libra because they hit like on it. You don't hit like on it. They're like, oh, Libra didn't like it. So uh, we're just going to go ahead and not show Libra. So what was I doing? Oh, let's get you. Let's see who you're dealing with. All right. If you're dealing with an Aries. Dealing with an Aries. Your Aries is going to be reaching out to you. They want to take action and reach out. They, gotta, uh, they have an idea that they are very proud of. And they're like, I need... Libra to uh, hear this, know about this, and they're going to be taking action. And it feels like what they're going to be taking action and reaching out to tell you is that, can you see that? We will be together again soon. If you're dealing with a Leo, we've got two cards out. Um, 
I'm gonna take the well. I'm gonna take the one. I sh fuck. I'm gonna take both of them. I need to take both of them. So, if you're dealing with a Leo, your Leo, um, they they're not sure if they want to invest or they're not sure where this is going. They they want to work on this connection. They want to work on the connection, but they're not sure if they put in the work if there's going to be a return. They're not sure if they plant this seed if there's going to be a harvest. They're not sure if. You notice how both you have this pinnacle sitting on the ground that's not being focused on? This is your person building. I got this last pinnacle and I want to build this with this person. But should I even put that up there? Should I even stand up and even waste my energy putting that up there? Should I take this last one and put it on there? What do I get out of this? So this is what your person is. Uh, if you're done with the Leo, and I don't want to get too much in that, but these both jumped out. I was only going to take one, but I feel you should know this. Your person, your, uh, your, uh, who, Leo? Your Aries. I was about to say Aries, even though I literally just said Leo and damn looked at it. Your Leo wants to work on this, but they don't know if they should. They want to put in the work. They just don't know if they should. I feel like I'm spending too much time on this. Something is still missing for me, and I'm trying to figure out what it is. If you're dealing with the Sagittarius, come on out. Damn, all these doubles. I'm not doing that. Stop it. Um, if you're dealing with the Sagittarius, um, Emperor, they're, they're, they could be wanting to be in control, or they could be taking control of themselves over their over their own situation, taking control of their lives. The Emperor is in control. He's also a little bit uh, uh, controlling at times he's stubborn but he's an emperor i mean shit you know you're in that position wouldn't wouldn't you be too so it's easier just to stay away from uh stay away right now so your person's taking control over their life and they're getting things in control and they're staying away for now I'm not saying it's going to be forever but for now that's what that's what they feel like need to do uh if you're dealing with the uh no i'm sorry if you're dealing with the cancer man swear y'all better stop dropping all these damn cards Come on now. Way too many. Should just leave them to sit. I don't even need to shuffle in between each one. Here, let's do this. We're going to do a shuffle, and this, this shuffle is going to be for Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Aquarius, Gemini, and Libra. Please get us situated. Please get us situated. Please get us situated. You, are you seeing this? Jeez, y'all energy is hot, man. It's hot. All right. If you're dealing with a cancer, um, Empress in reverse. Um, doesn't look like things are gonna be growing, or doesn't look like things are growing. Things could actually be dying down. Um, if you're pregnant, make sure you get your checkups. And you're taking care of good, uh, taking good care of yourself. Is that for cancer? You feel like home to me. If you're dealing with a Scorpio, they're bringing in that offer of love. They got a cup of, of love troubling or trolloping in on their horse. It's coming in, y'all. I'm reminded of you constantly. If you're dealing with a Pisces, they're starting to see things from a different perspective. They possibly could be stuck. I'm in a bet I'm in a much better headspace now. Because they're starting to see things from a different perspective. If you're dealing with a Virgo, they want to take action, reach out. They could have a new idea that they want to share with you. Please don't take what happened personally. It's not you, it's me. If you're done with the Taurus, they're focused on their stability. They are working on their money, focused on work, focused on uh, their job, focused on their uh, focus on the pinnacles. I need more time to figure things out. If you're dealing with a Capricorn, uh, looks like there's a third party situation. Could be could be somebody that they work with. If uh, if, if you have a Capricorn that stay in out at work or communicating with a work friend a little bit too much, uh, pay special attention to that. If your intuition tells you something, yeah, it's something. Intuition's never wrong. Especially y'all women. Y'all intuition is never wrong. 
You just got to start start listening to it. And the more you listen to it, the louder it'll speak. You stop listening to it, like, hey, well, shit, I don't like being ignored. I'm just going to stop talking to you altogether. I'm not the person that you remember. If you're dealing with an Aquarius, they're keeping themselves uh, trapped and bound to a self-inflicted imprisonment. Self-imprisonment. I should have been more honest with you about the way I was feeling at the time. Well, yeah. If you're dealing with a Gemini, it looks like you guys two could be coming together for a partnership, a romantic partnership. You guys are going to uh, come together. You possibly could, could come together for drinks or for lunch, coffee. And um, this this is a, a soulmate. You're going to be meeting. You're going to be meeting up with a soulmate. And making a decision if you guys are going to be talking about if you're going to if you guys are going to come together and partner up or not. I know I screwed things up, and honestly, I have no idea how to fix it. Well, you guys are going to be talking about that soon. And if you're dealing with a Libra, fellow Libra, um, they could be offering you something something stable. They could be offering you, and um, if you, if you recall, you in your person's position, it was all. Pinnacles. It was all about stability and pinnacles. Um, it looks like that same pinnacle is coming in towards you. Same energy. Um, you got that coming in. It's going to be small, but your person's working on it. You don't expect too much, but it's going to be worth having. I don't know how I feel anymore. Well, hopefully they didn't lose too much. Hopefully they didn't lose too much of the stability. Hopefully they're able to uh, build it back up. But... You do got that coming in. So anyway, that's what I got for you. Hopefully it resonated. You guys are awesome and amazing and all that other cool stuff. Please like, share, subscribe. Now you can share because I'm done. So um, like, share, subscribe, drop some comments. Let me know if this is your story, how it resonates. And let me know what kind of readings you guys want too. If you guys want to uh, look at your person's perspective, tell me everything. I love you. All right. So uh, I'm going to catch you guys on the next one.